So welcome back to Master Mode, and in the last episode we completed the Great Plateau here. And I think we got every single shrine you can get for this area, and we earned our paraglider. And sorry cool for this episode, um, I know the last one was really long, so hopefully this one won't be quite as long. I'm just going to go to Kakariko and find Impa. And I know along the way, although this doesn't really look like a long distance, um, I'm going to be distracted by things. Uh, I might fight these guys, or maybe climb a tower or two, and if I pass a shrine, obviously I'll try and complete that, so hopefully this episode won't be as long as the last one, which was like an hour and a half or so. And yeah, let's head out, head to Kakariko, this is one of the most fun moments of the game. I remember the first time I did this, this was the route I took. I came across, yeah, I think that bridge right there is the bridge that um, I met the guy who gave me directions. That was cool. I gotta remember I don't have as much stamina as I usually do. So I can't really glide the entire way. I hope there's not an actual guardian around here. Hyrule Kingdom. Oh, so that's just this whole area then. So, Rusty Claim. Oh, bad guys. Oh, what's my weakest weapon? I don't want to use the axe, that's good at opening stuff. But I have two. Might as well. Oh no. Okay. So these guys aren't that hard in master mode, because they're they're one hit usually anyway. Make sure to collect everything I can. So how much damage does this bow do? Um, I'm sure I have a worse bow. Actually this one's not even bad. Yeah, I, I'm fine with the bows I have now. What about melee weapons? Yeah, I'm fine with what I have now. Alright, so I'm gonna open these crates with this, this axe, which is damaged a bit. How much damage does this one do? Probably not as much. Again, I'm trying to get all the resources I can because it's master mode and this is going to be difficult in the near future. Especially now since we're out of the Great Plateau. Not as many places that they can handhold. I have a lot of resources around here. Again, trying to open every box I can. Every crate, every barrel. Nothing. Wow. These things sell for. I believe good prices. I can't check now, but as soon as we get to Kakariko, I can start selling some stuff. Because the rupees, I know, will be useful to purchase arrows and stuff. Because arrows should be really good in this mode. Because you can just arrow someone and it will stop regen health. So I'm just going to pass by the rest of these ruins. Oh no. Um... I don't want to fight this guy, but yeah, he doesn't have anything I need. I'm just going to run by him. As soon as I get to that bridge, there's like a guy there who keeps monsters away, so I'll be safe anyway. Okay, Dueling Peaks and Hateno Village. Okay, and then Lake Hylia is the other- oh! forgot about these guys. Oh no. Don't see me, please. Did he see me? Is that why he's running? The best weapon I have is definitely my soldier's broadsword. So I'm going to keep this equipped just in case I need to fight someone. Another thing I need to remember is that while fighting, if I knock someone back, then it'll take a bit to get back to them and they'll probably regen health in that. So if I tap X at a slower pace, or I mean Y to fight, if I tap the attack button at a slower pace it won't knock them back and it'll just damage and stun them. So I'll need to remember that. Okay, make my way. Oh no. They see me. Run. Oh, shrine. Perfect. Actually, I think this was the first shrine I did on my main playthrough. 
I mean, besides some Ripley Tail ones, obviously. Got a frozen McCoblin over on the right there. And run in quickly. Come on. There we go. Got a red loading screen. Just love it. It's different, and I like different. So yeah, you guys uh, supported my first episode of the Master Mode a lot, so I appreciate that. So this will probably be an ongoing series. I remember <laughs> when I first did this shrine, um, I I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't super familiar with Zelda and how in its puzzles you use um, basically all the tools it gives you to complete it, and so I thought to complete all the shrines you'd only need to use these five abilities and so I didn't think like oh I need to use my paraglider here so I was probably here for 15 minutes trying to figure out what it wanted me to do and I realized like oh yeah the paraglider that's probably just me that had that problem what's down here Is that magnetic? Oh, am I supposed to turn right? Probably, yeah. Okay. That's why there's this platform here, so I can get back up and not go down. Oh, but there's this. Oh, it's just to get back. Okay. Got it. I think. If this will let me go right, I got it. Maybe I'm supposed to go farther. Probably. Yeah, so I'll try to make not make this an hour long episode again. Actually, I could probably just stop here and... Uh, come on, Link! No! Oh, well, I'll only lose a heart. I've got four of those. And it'll automatically refill my hearts, I believe. So I think I can just uh, jump off of here, right? Right? Nope. Okay. I'm going to give up on that chest for now. I think I'm doing the right thing. I just, uh, I just don't want to spend the time trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, one more try. I have full hearts. Oh, this should work. Nope. Ah, rip. Okay. We tried. Usually there's not great things in chests anyway. Not gonna be extra careful. Do three more shrines, then I, I can get another heart. I know there's another area to do that at um, Cockrico Village as soon as we get there. I don't remember, but I believe there's a tower on the way there. So I'll probably try to climb that just to get the lay of the land. Oh, there's a balloon thing up there. Huh, so I got the DLC things now. Okay, this is probably good because um, I know the, uh, I think it was either Twilight Relic or the Phantasma Armor. It's very, very good and would probably be helpful early in the game. I think I only have one arrow. I don't want to miss. Um, here, I'll climb up here. So many quests! Ah. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm under. Will it let me do the trial of the sword? Or is that not until I discover? Yeah, probably not until I discover the master sword. 
Right, let me get this chest. Oh, I need one more arrow. Are you kidding? That's lame. Where am I gonna get an arrow? I have a cop. Yeah. Probably should have used the arrow on that guy. Well, live and learn. Oh, wait, there's a goblin guy over there. Okay. Any of them have a bow? Or arrows? Um. These guys all have weapons. Oh, wait, that guy has a bow. But is it worth it taking out all these guys just to get. What are they doing? They're dancing around a not lit fire. Oh. And they just realized it's not lit. I love Bacons. They're so cool. So they see now this guy's talking, they're all paying attention to him. That guy's the bow. I wonder. Could I just take him out and then run away? I think we should just let it go. We'll come back for you. <laughs> this guy, this guy's the guy that gave him directions. Say hi. Some of you seen bad ones I know. We're doomed. I'll skip through this dialogue. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. What thing? Oh yeah, he's never seen a guardian before. Okay. What I like about this guy is, um, apparently he's based off of a real person in San Francisco who guarded the Golden Gate Bridge. And so if you go up on the ledge like this, he'll yell at you. <laughs> hey, don't be rash. So he basically talks you out of jumping. Alright, moving on. Oh, and out of stamina. Nice fire. Oh, here, there's a smaller camp. Maybe I could take those guys out. Now let me do a save. I uh, might as well. I can just I can just manually save. Just in case I die fighting these guys. Oh no, that that ought to rock on me. Um, what's so there's a guy there. I'm wondering if I can grab his chest without alerting him. Or grab the chest and knock him into the water with it. How much range do I have? Yeah, try knocking him in the water. No, I missed. Go in the water. I can't say anything. There we go. Okay, he drowns. Perfect. I got the chest. Okay, that's a good shield. Oh, arrows. Perfect. I wonder if I should go back and try to... That's a good bow. Let me drop one of the bows I have now. Five damage. No, what? Drop it. There we go. I'm gonna try to take this chest right here without alerting them. I'm gonna be greedy too and try to grab these fish. Or this fish. Oh, yep, they saw me of course. It's fine, I can just run by him. Unless he arrows me. Okay. I need to find a horse stable. Where was it again? Uh, I've got new towers unlocked, so I'm gonna need to find a stable on my own. Oh, that's a stable right there. Let's head there. There should be horses around the stable, right? I mean, I don't think that's the stable I'm thinking of. Like, the first stable I found in the game wasn't that one. It was one, I think, further down. Um, yeah. Might as well head there. Ignore these guys, because they don't really have anything useful. 
Uh, actually, do I have enough stamina to cross this? I feel like I should. It's not very long. Let's go for it. I'm not gonna dash because that'll just make it worse. Nah, I can dash now. Okay. So I have more stamina than I thought. If I see a horse, I'm definitely gonna jump on it. Actually, wait. I had no rubies, so I technically couldn't um, board a horse. Huh. I couldn't register it. This will cost 20 rupees. Maybe there's a guy who will sell stuff to me. Maybe I'll find Beetle. Or what's his name? His name's Beetle, right? The guy who always wants to sell me stuff. Either way, there's a shrine here, so might as well head over here. But you know, I don't think I see any horses. Like, not wild ones that I could climb on. Hey friend, I want your chest, so yeah, sorry. Okay. Hopefully there's something good. Rupees would be nice, but yeah, they don't usually do that. Oh, okay, wait, Th these guys, these guys will, um, suck my rusty weapons in, right? Oh, no, wait, I don't have any rusty. Did I not pick that one up? Huh. Okay. See, I used that in the Trial of the Sword, the final one. There's a couple of those guys who will suck things in, and if you give them a rusty weapon, they'll spit out a really good weapon. Huh. I guess I didn't bring any rusty ones. I'm gonna ignore this Korak. I remember this one specifically. It's, I hate the ones with the uh, these. They're difficult and waste arrows. I don't think I'm ever gonna go for all the Korok seeds because the reward for it is just so dumb. <laughs> Isn't like you get a golden piece of poop or something? Oh yeah, Beetle's here. Okay, I'll sell something to him a sec. Is he gonna give me a quest? Get a little red. Yeah, so I'm just gonna skip through all the dialogue because at some point I, I listen to him. Yeah. Meeting Beetle for the first time. So it's Beetle, not Beetle. Okay. Oh wait, no, I don't want to look at his stuff. I have no money. Look at my stuff. Um, might as well sell some springs. Just two. Half, half of my storage. And I believe 30 rupees is enough to board a horse. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Alright. I don't think there's a horse around. Let me talk to this guy. Maybe he knows about horses. Yes, I do. Extra horse, yeah, okay. Gotta find a horse then. I don't think there's one anywhere nearby. Maybe that way. So usually they're in open fields, and since I don't have the tower yet, don't really see any open fields. Let's uh, go in this shrine. Been going for just about 20 minutes. Hmm. I gotta get to Kakariku Village at some point. That's our goal for this episode. Okay. Probably summed up here. Yep, chest. Okay. 
That sells for a fine price. One at a time. Oh yeah, I gotta make it up there. Oh yeah, I remember the shrine now. I remember something about this being like... Ugh, it took me a while. That might have just been me being dumb. Like, were you supposed to... Maybe I just wasn't good with magnesis yet. Regen her second. Regen. <laughs> Refill my stamina, I mean. I like, will this just let me get directly? You see, no, it won't. I'm gonna need to use those blocks and. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this down here. I remember this took me a while because, like, I just didn't really get it. Actually, I think it's because, like, I'm trying to line this up perfectly. And I, I messed up a bunch. It probably needs to be closer. Gotta get the angle just right. See, like a lot of these I don't know whether it's the puzzle that's just kind of weird, or if it's just me being bad. I feel like it's a weird puzzle. It's like, is this even what you're supposed to- oh, thank you, okay. Is that gonna stay? Okay, maybe I got it on my first try. Okay, that wasn't too hard. See, my memory of it was that it took me a lot longer because I, I I overestimated how long um the that like slanted platform is, and so I kept putting the three blocks back too far, and so I'd have to keep rearranging all three, and it was a real pain. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I'm just gonna head straight to Kakariko now. Done a couple of shrines. Found a stable with no horses. Kind of ironic, but which way is the best way? That's right. I have no tower, so I'll delete this pin and just sort of head this way. Where was that tower I saw earlier? It's all the way over there now. Is there another one? Those are the Dueling Peak shrines, which I will not get today. But isn't the fastest way through the Dueling Peaks? We head to that bridge over there. Oh, another shrine. There's shrines everywhere. I forget how many shrines. There's like 120. I've done them all on my main account. Some of these earlier puzzles I just don't remember. They were a lot of fun. So I think what I might do, just for the sake of having fast travel points, is activate the shrine? Oh wait, is that the flower shrine? Yeah. I think that's the one where the lady has like a maze of flowers and won't let you step on it. It's not too difficult, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid it for now and go through these guys. Right? Yeah. Okay. I can- oh there's a horse! Oh, oh wait, no wait, but a guy's on that horse. Wait, is it even a good idea to go through here? Where would this take me? Yeah. Oh, he hurt someone. Who's that? See, I messed up there. I shouldn't do that. I, I... Oh, wow! Okay. So that's the first time I've died so far in Master Mode. Arrow one hit me. Wasn't expecting that. Huh. I think I've been underestimating how difficult it can be because I've just been avoiding enemies. Oh, and they spawn me here. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. I should knock him into the water. Uh, and run. Oh, why, why do I always run up? Run out of my stamina. Go, Link! Should I eat something? Do I have anything? Yeah, I got some stuff. I'll eat dubious food. And a cup.
couple of baked apples. All right, on our way. I think we got past these guys. Yeah. So if I just take this route, I should get there, right? I mean, this isn't the route I took the first time I played, but I believe it is a route. But I'm pretty sure you need here. If I mark that, I'll. No, yeah, that's too far away from Kakariko. I guess it wants me to go over this bridge. Oh, horse, 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 horse. I can probably steal this if I can take out him. I think I'm too far away. But I really want this horse. I don't want to make sure I don't miss. Did I miss? I thought that was I thought I had a hit marker. Oh, there's two. That makes me nervous. Oh. There we go. Get on. Perfect. Let's let's go back the way we came and register this. As soon as we get this guy. There we go. Alright, nice. It's pretty sweet play. Okay, which way do we come? This way, okay. Oh, this isn't a bad horse. I mean, it's not super fast, but it's a good starter. And I'm just taking it back this way to register it so I can not be afraid of losing it. What's this lady afraid of? The monsters attack out of nowhere. Well, good luck. There's Beetle, packed up, going home. I love the NPCs in this world got random interesting things to say. Sometimes I'll just walk by an NPC and they'll just tell me a random piece, like big piece of information that I just didn't know of even after all my playtime. Like I think after I completed every single shrine, I just came across an NPC who's like, oh yeah, up in those mountains up there, there's a really cool lady who teaches shield surfing. So I was like, oh, I know how to shield surf, but and I went up and it's like the snowboarding girl, uh, register horse. Should only be 20 rupees, right? Okay. Yep. That's what I got these rupees for. Oh, what should I name my first horse? Let's think. It's Master Mode Horse Max. Why not? What am I doing? Max. Alright, we're gonna be going with Max for a while. Let's go. Let's for your horse you can whistle. Alright. Cool, cool. And we're off, Max and I. I'm impressed with myself how quickly I came up with that name. <laughs> Master Mode Max. I mean, it's not that good of a name, but. Lincoln Max. Yeah. Alright, going back the way we came earlier. This time it's faster because I got a horse. Ha. Goodbye, Lazolfos. Don't want to deal with you. I disappeared for a second. I'm just going to take this path again. Another thing I learned from an NPC is that you can just sort of, um, like, like right now I'm not steering and it automatically takes the path. Now sometimes it'll take the wrong path because like you'll come to a fork in the road and so sometimes a fork in the roads, fork in the roads you'll have to um, manually turn it, but 
If you're on a path and it's just going for a while, you can just sort of look around, do whatever, and your horse will steal for you. Pretty neat. No, I might go in the wrong way. Like, will this... See, I don't have the uh, map for this region, so I don't know if this will circle back around and take me where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Yeah, this is just taking me farther away. Yeah, turn back around. I should be. What if I? Is this like an open plane here? Okay, calm down. Calm down. If you hold left trigger, you can uh, make it move anywhere, basically. Oh yeah, that's that's the way I want to go. Yep. In fact, this is the way I went um, when I first did it, I believe. Alright, this nice open field. I remember finding a bunch of um, enemy of a goblins and horses. <laughs> it was horrifying, because like, I didn't have a horse initially when I came here. I was just running. And so I come across this open field of enemies and horses. Yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. At that point, I didn't even know you could ride horses, I don't think. So I thought, they get to ride horses, and I don't. But then I soon discovered that you can mount them and found a stable. I like the way horses work in this game. Very smooth, very fluid. Alright, so here is Kakrika Village. Made it. 30 minutes through. We got to our destination. I'm gonna talk to Impa. See whatever quest she gives me. I don't remember what the first quest she gives you is. Um, hold on, wait. I want to take this out. But I, I'm pretty sure you get that um, coat that lets you see the amount of health enemies have left, like in number form. Oh, that's a nice metal. That sells for a lot. Alright. Onward, noble steed. So I seem to remember they make your horse go slower in Kakariko. <laughs> I love this area. The music is just really nice. And somewhat nostalgic, even though this game only came out in March. Oh, these guys! See, they're not here anymore when you finish the game. Oh, horse in the way. Oh, come on, horse. Can't see anything! Move! Ah, Max. I'm gonna have to do something about you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just bumped him. Link doesn't care. Oh, that's, what's her name? Starts with a P, uh, Paya. That was it. She is shy. Uh, the Lin? <laughs> okay, I just want to talk to Impa. I'm here. Hey, Grandma. Oh, I forgot. This is voice acted. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Huh. That's cool. Oh, that's right. This is a long thing. Cause she's gonna show me cutscene. I think I'm going to skip the cutscene, just because I, I do remember it pretty well, because you can watch it whenever. So apparently I don't remember her. Dearest Link. A hundred years ago. Okay, 
I'm just gonna sort of skip through it. We get it in a hundred years. Ganon, Zelda's been holding back and... Wait, is that it? Are you prepared? I am. Always a hero. Is that it? <laughs> oh no. Here it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip it. Sorry. I'm sure you've seen it by now, but... hundred years ago. Free the four divine beasts. Got it. Dara, Krivali, Mipha, and Arbos. I had no idea what that meant when I first saw it. But now I do. There they are. <laughs> when, I, when I first got this quest on my Sheikah Slate, it was so cool because it's this huge map and I had none of it discovered and so it was all foreign like I, I looked at the dot and I had no idea what was in that region like I didn't know the bottom left was the desert that you would die in if you don't equip heat resistant gear <laughs> that's pretty cool understood okay you are Princess Zelda's only hope all right so we found Cockerica Village, we talked to Impa, and this video is a lot shorter like I wanted, okay. So thanks for watching, um, if you watch the whole thing. Appreciate the support on this series. I was concerned that a Let's Play thing would be kind of boring. But I don't like to call it a Let's Play, basically just a walkthrough. But we're here, in Kakariko, and... And a couple more shrines all have enough to get another heart container. So yeah. Thanks for watching. The next episode we'll uh, do some of inputs. Let's see actually what she wants us to do. So she wants us to go to Hatena, which isn't far. Actually that's farther than I remember. But it's not hard to get to. It's just a village. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.